Well, after a month long extension, the deadline to file your taxes has now arrived. Not only is the pandemic changing when your taxes are due, it also may have led to some new challenges for you when it comes to filing. And if you waited until the last minute, don't worry. Here to explain what you need to know is Melissa Travis from the Rhode Island Society of CPAs. Melissa, thanks for being here. Good afternoon, Kim and Brian. How are you today? We're doing well. And as we mentioned, it's deadline day. So boil down for us because it has been a crazy year. What happens if people don't file by today? Okay, you don't want to not file by today. The most important takeaway that you should have from this conversation is whatever you do, file your taxes today. Even if you can't pay, or you need to request an extension today is your deadline the last thing you want is a late filing penalty that's just unnecessary so don't put yourself in that situation um, you can also request if you can't uh, file or you need more time to figure out exactly what's going on or what your tax status is by all means you can file the federal government has an extension form it's 4868 and Rhode Island has its own RI 4868 you want to make sure you get those forms in now to be clear the extension does not mean you don't have to pay and there is a difference between the federal and the Rhode Island and Mass requirements. In Rhode Island and Mass, you are required to pay 80% of your estimated tax owe for that estimate, uh, excuse me, for that extension to be valid. Oh, that's one point I did not know yes. either. Okay, Learning this is why we already. have you. We're glad. Okay. <laughs> um, curious, you know, you hear a lot of questions. You're updated on all the changes. What would you say are the top two tax changes that would benefit people the most this year that they should know about? So there is quite a bit, obviously pandemic related relief. It was just announced, it's been all over the news today that the Biden administration will uh, begin direct deposits with the child tax care credit and the list. We don't have enough time. You've given me a very short window here. So there are quite a few changes. That's why it's been our CPAs have been busier than ever. Some say this is the worst in their uh, memory going back 40 years. Uh, but again, there are just so many different things and nuanced situations depending on what how you file. As an individual taxpayer, there are many things that you may be able to take advantage of, up to things like a $300 uh, cash credit, if you will, for charity contributions and things like that. So again, way too many to mention here, but there certainly has been uh, quite, a, quite a few things uh, being thrown at the general taxpayer. And you just mentioned that that some of the CPAs you work with say this has been the worst year in 40 years. Uh, you told us before we came on air that it's been a perfect storm and CPAs have just been crushed by the work this tax season. What has contributed to that? There have been more changes. I mean, the, the extensions, uh, the deadline extensions were just one component. Uh, what was not was the estimated uh, tax payments. That deadline was not postponed. So for many CPAs, they still had to rush to get the client's returns done by April 15th. And there have just been so many changes to the actual tax code. So it has uh, literally contributed to a perfect storm and a lot of misinformation, differences between federal and state for many things Rhode Island is what we call coupled with Fed where we follow federal guidelines and for others we have like unemployment we are not we do not follow Fed so there has been a truly just a massive amount um, which has been reflected by the volume of calls that we've taken just today alone I am curious you know it seems we, every year we get to this deadline date and a lot of people panic, don't know any of the details. Is there something the average viewer should be doing throughout the year to better understand this information so they're not coming to you in the last week and everybody's yeah. bombarding your office? I would say in a normal year, which this most certainly has not been, but in a normal year, you want to probably start ahead of time. You don't want to wait until tax filing day to pull your information together or decide if you're going to go get a CPA or you're going to try to use tax software. The average taxpayer, if you're filing individually and you don't have employees and you're just a, you know, don't have any extraordinary tax situations, you can just file uh, using tax software. But it, you don't want to wait until the last minute to make that determination. And again, the last thing you want to do is have a late filing penalty. So you want to get that in. Even if you can't pay, get the return filed and then request that extension. 
but for the average taxpayer, you know, and, and we're happy to answer those questions. So you can call us, we have info at rispa.org, reach out to us and say, what do I need to know or what would be helpful? I know the Rhode Island Division of Taxation does a fantastic job. Uh, their website is tax.ri.gov with some important information and important taxpayer advocacy information. So uh, don't wait. <laughs> some helpful resources there. Melissa Travis from the Rhode Island Society of CPAs, thanks so much for joining us on this tax day. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great day. You too.